Listen, I can hear what you're thinking. You simply think out so loud, you know. It's hard to be a movie star. What? It's hard to be a movie star or a stage player? Oh no, you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. It's easy to act. It's the simplest way to fame and fortune. All you have to do is say a few words, cry a little, make love, or even die a little. I remember when the committee of the Academy Awards attempted to give me an Oscar for the excellent performance. Oh, I have to refuse it. How can I accept an award for something I can do quite naturally? Really? <laughs> no kidding. You can be a Shylock. He hath disgraced me and hindered me half a million laughed at my losses, mocked at my gains, scorned my nation, thwarted my bargains, cooled my friends, heated my enemies, and what's his reason? I am a Jew! Sirana de Bergerac. Was this the nose that launched a thousand ships? These, my dear sir, are things you might have said had you some tinge of letters or of wit to color your discourse. But wit, not so, you never had an atom. And of letters, you need but three to write you down. A... S. S. Hamlet. To be or not to be, then is the question. Or even Faustus at the drop of a hat. Stand still, you ever moving spheres of heaven, that time may cease and midnight never come. For example, in a love scene, How Do I Love Thee by Elizabeth Barry. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I love thee to the depths and breadth and heights my soul can reach. When feeling out of sight for the end of being and idle grace, I love thee to the level of everyday must quite need by sun and candlelight. I love thee freely as men strive for right. I love thee purely as they turn from praise. I love thee with a passion put to use in my old grief and with my childhood faith. I love thee with a love I seem to lose with my lost things. I love thee with the breath, smiles, tears of all my life. And if God choose, I shall but love thee better after death. Easy, isn't it? Four dramatic scenes. Charlotte Defense by William Shakespeare To bait fish with all If it would feed nothing else, it would feed my revenge He had disgraced me Hindered me half a million Laugh at my losses Mock at my gains Scorned my nation Thwarted my bargains Fooled my friends Cheated my enemies And what's his reason? I am a Jew. Had not a Jew eyes, had not a Jew hands, organs, dimensions, senses, affections, passions, fed with the same food, hurt with the same weapon, suffered with the same disease, healed with the same means, warm and cool by the same winter and summer as the Christian is. If you break us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, shall we not revenge? If we are like you in the rest, we will resemble you in death. If I do wrong a Christian, what is his humility? Revenge. If a Christian wrong a Jew, what should his appearance be by Christian example? Why? Revenge. The villainy you teach me, I will execute, and it shall go hard, but I will be better than instruction. Easy, isn't it? For a rhetorical, Dr. Faustus, that speech. Heaven, this long season, it never comes. 
They need your eyes, eyes, eyes again and mix with the trouble. Well, that is all we know. A year, a month, a week, a natural day. That falls to his miracle and save his soul. Easy, isn't it? Now, if you want to try Serrano de Vergarac and want to be a little bit comical, Ah, no, young sir, you are too simple. Why you might have said, oh, a great many things. Why waste your opportunity? For example, thus, aggressive. I, sir, if that nose were mine, I'd have it amputated on the spot. <laughs> Practical. How do you drink with such a nose? You ought to have a cup made especially. Descriptive. This a rock, a crag, a cape. A cape? Say rather... A peninsula. Inquisitive. What is that a receptacle, a razor case, or a portfolio? Kindly. Ah, do you love the little birds so much that when they come to sing to you, you give them this version? Cautious. Take care. A weed like that might make it up heavy. Eloquent. When it blows. The typhoon house and the clouds darken. <laughs> Dramatic. We need bleed the red sea. Enterprising. What a sign for film perfume. Simple. When do they unveil the monument? The sex. Sir, I recognize in you a man of parts. A man of prominence. <laughs> oh, literally. Was this the nose that launched a thousand sheep? This, my dear sir, are things you might have said had you some tinge of letter or which to color your discourse, but which not so you never had an item and the letters you need but three to write you down. A S S S. Or for insanity or horror. The Tale-Tale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe No doubt, I now grew very pale, but I talked more fluently and with a heightened voice, yet the sound increased. And what could I do? It was a low, dull, quick sound, much such a sound as a watch makes when enveloped in cotton. I got for breath, and yet the officer heard his snack. I talked more quickly. More vehemently, but the voice steadily increased. I arose in a group about your force, in a high key and with violent gesticulation. But the noise steadily increased. Why would they not be gone? I paced the floor too and fro with heavy strides, as if excited to fury by the observations of the men. But the noise steadily increased. Oh God, what could I do? I foamed, I raved, I swore. I swung the chair upon which I had been sitting and grated it upon the board. But the noise arose over all and continually increased. I grew louder, 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 until the men chatted pleasantly and smiled. Was it possible they heard not? Oh, mighty God! No, no, they heard, they suspected, they knew they were making a mockery of my horror. This I thought, and this I think. But anything was better than this agony. Anything was more tolerable than this derision. I could bear those hypocritical smiles no longer. I felt that I must scream or die. And now, again, heart. Loudly, 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 loudly. Easy, isn't it? And now, for the death scene. It was your wedding day. You were so loved. Your gown was made by Pitoy Moreno. Your hairstyle by Roger Artifis. Your makeup by Max Factor. Oh, you were beautiful. And with your groom at your side. Tall, dark, debonair. You were walking down the aisle with a bouquet of red, red roses. When suddenly, a man points out his gun at you and 